Well, hi, and uh, welcome to my shop, but of course we're not in my shop, we're in my office, and uh, what I'm going to do with this video, and I'm continuing to explore noise and things like that, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run up the uh, spectrum below the AM radio band, so that's, that's below 540 kilohertz, the very bottom of the uh, AM dial. And I'm going to use this uh, electronic radio here because of the uh, wonderful screen that's going to appear down here. We'll be able to stop at every signal and listen to it briefly to see uh, to see what it sounds like. And up here, it's going to give you the frequency that we're listening to now. Right now, the radio is tuned to the very bottom of its range, and that's actually 10 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz. Think about that for a minute. You can hear. 10 kilohertz. Okay, if we had a 10 kilohertz coming out of a speaker here, you'd be able to hear it if your ears are in any way okay. So that's how low this radio goes. And we're just going to work our way up, watching the screen down here. And I'll be clicking my mouse. You'll see my mouse come over above a peak in this region. I'll click on it, which is a little hard for you to realize I've clicked on it. The whole display will shift then, so that that peak I've clicked on is sitting here on the center line. Whatever is on the center line is what we're actually listening to. So that's how this works. So right at 10 kilohertz, for some reason this radio shows uh, a signal off scale, but it's a fluke, okay, because we're right at the bottom of the range of the radio. And you'll also notice I have the attenuator turned on, the antenna attenuator, cutting back the signal coming into the radio. So we'll just start here, and I'm not going to say too much while we go up. And you can just watch and listen just like I'm doing and we'll see what's here oh one last thing out well there's nothing on the screen let's just move it up a bit there we go so that released the ABC and now we can see some of the peaks down on the screen so so just have a listen and uh, ponder what could be making these kinds of sounds Remember that, 256. This is the big one right here. I believe this particular signal is responsible for many of the effects that I get in my shop when I'm uh, tuning and adjusting uh, AM radios. It's just below the AM band. So it's easily presented to the front end of the radio regardless of what kind of tuning and filtering there might be in the antenna or right in the very uh, front end of the radio. But it's just below the dial, so this is a tough one to tune in directly with an ordinary AM radio, because they normally start around 540.
Now we're going up into the AM radio band now. Six eighty is a very popular AM uh, station here outside of or here in Toronto. Um, everybody listens to this in their car, including me. But here at my house, it's underneath this thing. Keep your eye on the signal strength here, too. The height of the display down here is affected by the AVC quite a bit. So what's causing all these? Here, I'll just click in a quiet spot here for a moment. And you can still hear it, even in the quiet spots. How about right here? None of these are regular radio stations. They're all noise all throughout the AM radio band. There, you can hear a bit of a radio station sneaking through. That's a very local station. Low power, but very local to me. It's the only station we've picked up clearly. And even that one has interference in the background. So we're at the top of the AM band now. I wonder what all this is. So if we jump up to 6 megahertz here. You can still hear that stuff, but you don't see the peaks quite so much. Still down there, though. If we jump up to 10...
So, I'll stop there. The light gives you some idea of the noise profile uh, here uh, when viewed on this radio. And the thing I'm, I'm realizing now is that if these signals are overloading the front end of the radio, one or two signals in the front end of the radio, or maybe three or four, can result in a large number of spurious signals throughout the receptive band of the radio, giving somebody like me the impression that there's many, many, many signals all over the place, and I keep picking them up, when in fact they're really reflections of the same original basic uh, frequencies that are or signals that are causing me my problems. Pretty hard to sort out because uh, every radio I try picks these things up and some of them um, I'm sure are being generated within the radio through uh, you know, heterodyne in the mixer um, but you know it's really hard to figure this stuff out and as for the source just to give you an idea of where we're sitting here oh I just opened up a little door here just take a look okay oh my gosh there in the dark you can hardly see it on camera is my fuse panel and of course, just a few further feet away is the smart meter on the back of my house. And I'm pretty sure the smart meter is responsible for some of this. Although, frankly, oddly enough, oddly enough everything we heard uh, on this video as I worked my way up uh, did not sound like the smart meter interference I've become a little bit familiar with, which is an on-off thing that uh, you may have heard on some of my other videos it just goes psh, 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 like that just every second I didn't hear any of that so I mean this whole thing is just a never-ending mystery to me as much as I'm surrounded by all kinds of radios including this fantastic one we're using today with this great display you think I can get to the bottom of what is causing all this but I'm having a really hard time doing that. So anyway, I thought uh, because I had put up a few videos on noise uh, and uh, there's been some interest in them, I thought I'd do this one this morning with you. I was doing it on my own actually and I thought, oh, I should video this because it's a little bit interesting. So there you go. Noise at my house. Oh, by the way, when I'm driving around in my car and I do listen to AM radio a fair bit, especially in the evenings, um, I drive around, I don't hear any of this noise. I drive into, you know, people's driveways and up beside buildings and things like that, like anybody would, and it seems to me my house is the source of all the noise in Canada. <laughs> it's all coming from here, it seems to be. So uh, I do get perfectly good AM radio reception just just at the end edge of, edges of my property and everywhere else I go. So uh, mysterious stuff. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. I really would like to hear from anybody who has clear ideas as to what it is I'm seeing and uh, are these things for real or are they just a phenomenon that occur inside radios that are overloaded at the front end. That's it. Thanks for watching.